Hey everybody, welcome back to the Balloon Saloon. Today we're gonna to be doing something um, which I think is quite interesting. Um, I really enjoy doing Dora, and so I thought we'd c continue with things under the sea. Um, and I thought we would switch it up. Instead of a video today, we'd go back to the book. So today we're gonna to try and make this octopus. I think it looks really cute. I like all the different colors that it has on it, and um, we're gonna try it. So I was reading through what I needed for this, and it says that I need three balloons to make six legs. Now, um, I'm pretty sure I was taught that an octopus has eight legs, hence the octo part of the animal's name. So, um... I'm not sure that this kid's book is very educational or accurate. I mean, I get that these are balloons, but like, can't you just do one more? I don't know. We're gonna do it with the three that they said, but I mean, we can do better than that, I think. Okay, let's get to it. Fully inflate three balloons. Just before you tie them, off, let out a little air to soften them. Okay. All the way inflated. A little bit of air let out. And here we go. Also, it has come to my attention, we have like 40 subscribers now on um, YouTube, that maybe some of these people have not found me and do not know me personally. So welcome, I'm glad you're here. Uh, and you might have not have any clue like what what I'm doing and why I'm doing this. Um, and the answer to that is I don't know either. No, um, I knew I was gonna be in quarantine for a while. And so I ordered some balloons because I always wanted to learn balloon testing. So, here we are. Wow, that's crazy. These are significantly different sizes. They came from two different boxes or bags of, but they're still 260s. I mean, I did let a lot of air out of the pink, but it wasn't like, wasn't that much. Anyway, so already starting off our octopus is not gonna have equal legs. So anyway, so I decided to Learn a new hobby. I don't have any aspirations of doing children's uh, anything. Maybe adult parties. This might be fun with adults. But, um, oh, wow. I almost just let go of that. Uh, it just sounds like fun, right? It was like 20 or 30 bucks for my original box. And then... I ventured into like more professional balloons. So now I have, I ordered 850 of them. And then I ordered more because they didn't show up. So now I've got a lot of balloons. So now I have to do this for a while. And here we are, this is what we do. Okay, fully inflate two. Lay the balloons side by side, then lock twist them together in the middle. Okay. So these are not all, let's see how long the green one is. Green one, also pretty sure, well I didn't blow it up all the way. Whoop, <gasps> that's no good. Shoot, oh well, well he's gonna be a little, whatever. Okay, I'm supposed to line all these up in the middle, but maybe we'll put the pink in there. Okay, we're calling it the middle. Lock this knit together. Okay, there's our, um, make sure the twist is at the top. I don't know what that means, make sure the twist is at the top. It's a twist, how is there a top and a bottom to it? Oh, this is like his like head area. Okay, measure down. 10 inches and lock them, twist together. Uh, that look good? I'm supposed to 
twist all these together again. This is a lot of balloons to be twisting together. Okay, there we go. Inflate another balloon leaving a five centimeter tail uninflated. Oh, maybe this is, maybe this is the octo part of the octopus. Okay, what other color? Orange? We'll do orange. Inflate another balloon leaving five centimeters, two inch tail uninflated. Okay. So my other videos I do, I will watch videos of people doing balloon twisting and attempt to do the balloon twisting at the same time. Very few do I watch ahead. The ones I watch ahead are the ones I like really want to make sure I get correct. Um, but this is just a one take, sit down, turn on the phone, do it, upload it, like hardly any editing. The only editing I do is when I put a picture over here of what the person made because mine looks terrible. Anyway, okay, twist a 25 centimeter 10 inch bubble inches is like how do you then a four inch bubble oh these are the eyeballs oh, huh. and this will be one eye I don't think this is supposed to be that long anyway okay bend the eye bubble over and lock this into place okay whoop Okay, bend the eye bubble, lock twist it, twist a five centimeter two inch bubble, and then another four inch bubble for the second eye. Oh, we need a little bit of space. I get where this is going. And then another. eyeballs and insert this balloon with the eyes behind one of the headpieces and the already created sea monster sea illustration okay so I have to feed this through here Whoop. yeah see these are the two other legs and I I'm really bad at measurements on these sorts of things so We also sometimes do balloon popping videos, which I've got one I've got to edit, and I've got a one I've got to film. Okay. Um, pull these last two legs down and lock twist them with the others. Oh, I was wondering how that was going to happen. Our octopus. Mm. I don't know what a good octopus name is. Calamari? I never know if I'm supposed to put the bubble, like the white of the eye or whatever, the, the draw eyes like together. Like, do they both go on the inside? Do they both go on the same side? I don't know. Anyway, um, Let's name our octopus Steven. 
Steven's a good name for our octopus. Let's like see if we can like do cool things with his legs. Let's show him up a little bit. Albeit they are not, uh, oh, he's so cute. That kind of looks like a nose, doesn't it? Although his legs aren't equal, I suppose. Are they equal on an, an actual octopus? I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. I love Steven. Okay. Well, that was a fun one. The book, uh, was a success this time. Last time the mouse, that was probably my fault with the 350. But anyway, okay, so if you're new here, comment, subscribe, let me know what you want to see next. And um, I post videos daily, so keep watching. Bye!